I know there's a third puppy here somewhere. Oh! No, you stay down, Papa. Don't upset the apple cart. I got all puppy snuggling with me this morning. Good morning, puppies. Oh, Papa, he doesn't like all this activity. Oh, yeah, Junior will usually... Oops, Papa. He gets like right here. He wants me to pet him. All right, go lay down, Papa. Look at... Yeah, this one likes to snuggle right up by my neck. Hey, Sammy. Hey, good boy. <laughs> it's a puppy party. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, puppies. Oh, what a nice thing to wake up to. Good morning, puppies. Whoa! Oh! As I was saying, Junior likes to sleep down there. Oh, I've got orbs. Supernatural phenomenon going on. <laughs> And then Sunny likes to snuggle up here with me. Yes, yeah, Sunny looks so much like Papa in his coloring. His head's going to be a little bit smaller. Come on, look at it, Sunny. Goodness gracious. What's up, Junior? You just want to play with Papa, don't you? Yes, you do. Hey, everybody, I'm here. I'm Papa, <laughs> sitting in a tiny house, having my coffee. I don't know what today's going to bring, but it's going to be an amazing day. I got these slippers on today. <laughs> this needs to be shaked out. This foot right here, this knuckle is hurting me so gosh darn bad. It hurts to put it in the mud boots, so I'm going to take some ibuprofen, <laughs> sit for a little bit, and try and get out there and, I don't know, do something. Hey, hey puppies. What's up puppies? Look, I got some more pots and pans up there after all. I just put the heavy ones, well that's, the others aren't heavy, That that's heavy. Um, And hung it over where it goes into the stud and it looks like it's going to work just fine. Yeah, I could clean that pot up more but it's just going to go over a fire so I don't care. So yeah, I got a couple pots hung up. Oh, that is going to really help out a lot in this kitchen. Be nice or get out. Look at that. I used to light candles in it, but I've had to put my fire starters in it because I had them like in a plastic baggie, sort of like down in one of those things. The puppies got into it when I was away at the store one time and they shredded a bunch of these all over the place. I came home and there was stuff scattered all over the floor. So that has now become a fire starter container. <laughs> these puppies, I tell you what, they will, they will chew anything. They will chew anything. I cannot leave them alone inside the tiny house when I'm gone. I have to take them with me or put them out in the yard. Look at that crazy dog. He's been sitting there for about 30 minutes. I went inside, came back outside. He's still just sitting in that pot. Well, he's in the sun, so I think he's feeling pretty happy. What are you doing? Chewing on my eggplant plant, huh, Sonny? What are you doing? We gotta put a stop to this before next spring. <laughs> oh, have you seen anything more adorable? You guys are good. You are good. Get out of my flower pot. Come on, Sonny. Come on, Sonny. Go tell your brother to get out of the flower pot. Good boy. Good boy. All of you good boys. Yep, definitely time to do some laundry. But I need to have two hands to do this with. So I need to get to plunging. All soaked up and I'm just going to let it sit here for about 10 minutes. And then plunge it for about 5 more minutes, drain it, and then rinse it. I don't know. I just... It wouldn't it be nice if it would rain tonight and do the rinse cycle in the rain? I don't think that's going to happen. Yep, it's a no hat hair day. Sometimes a girl has just got to let her hair down. <laughs> It'd be more effective if I had good hair. I'm going to have trouble in the springtime, aren't I? First thing I got to do is go check for some eggs. Well, good morning, beauty. Are there eggs under you? I guess I'll have to check later. 
Let's see what the Easter eggers are up to. Whoops! Somebody's in there. Somebody laid me an egg. Looks like somebody's not none. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave you be. Maybe I'll get two today. I got to tell you, today it is sunny outside, but it is cold, cold, cold. But I'm going to look for some wood, for some trim, and I have an idea. Actually, somebody made a comment about it as well. I was thinking it just the same day. It's like the Vulcan mind meld thing going on again. Um, I'm going to see if I could split some wood. I'm not sure if I can do it because a lot of the wood that I'm using is old dried and it, it just falls apart. So, um, But I've got word that I'm going to be getting some longer screws. So either way, it's going to work out. Well, I've got these pieces that I had already kind of cut down, but it might not be shaped right. I'm not sure. Of course, I'll have to take off some of the side parts, but it's still worth pulling up to the tiny house because I can't, if I can't use it for trim, I can at least use it for wood, you know, to burn. Well, I got this big piece and the other two smaller pieces over. I don't think I'm going to be able to use them for anything except for fire. So... First thing I'm going to do is cut that off, cut those off, and then just kind of see what the shape is. Um, it, it's got kind of a little bend to it, but it's not too pronounced. I may be able to correct some of that. I don't know. Well, I just need to take this apart first. I got all that off, and I'm looking at it, and this part is too different from this part. So this part is going to have to come off. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I may need to kind of brace this and maybe put some weight on it and just see if I can get that, that little curve to straighten out. If I could, this would be a perfect piece of wood to trim inside somewhere. As I was stripping the bark off these pieces of wood, and I don't have to strip the bark off to burn them. I just do it sometimes if it's really wet because it, this will dry out quicker and I dry this out and use it for kindling. But as I was doing it, I was thinking, gosh, you know what? If I had been a little bit more careful with the way I took this bark off, I could use this for trim. Just plain old bark. Now, I don't know if I can use this for anything, but you know what? That is an idea. I need to start thinking in terms of doing that that way because for tricky areas, where it's just kind of like a weird spot or whatever and I can't get nothing to fit. Maybe just some bark. I don't know. I gotta tell ya, I don't hate it. I put it up with screws because they're easy to remove. Um, but I think that this will work in like the weird areas where there's gonna be things going over them. Um, I could even, I've got some liquid nails that I could use. Um, I haven't completely secured it because I'm not sure if I'm going to like it. But I'm going to leave this one up. I'm going to go gather more bark and I'm going to flatten it and uh, kind of let it dry out. This isn't exactly dry. So, I don't know. I should probably dig it down. It might cause some fungus to grow. But, I dig it, you guys. I totally dig it and I can put another piece up there. In fact, I might do that right now. I love it. I love it. Yep. So, this is what I'm going to do for kind of like weird areas. Just get the bark and uh, tack it up with a couple of screws or uh, really a couple of nails um, but screws come out so much easier and then I can use some glue on the parts that need to adhere better but I think what I will do is search for bark and flatten it out put it in between something or maybe not I don't know three-dimensional look I just really love it that is so so cool Three eggs so far today, Easter Egger, a beauty, and I don't know, I think that's Roxy. I could be wrong. I'll just add them to the rest, but you know what? I'm going to take out these two green eggs, and you know what I'm going to do with them? I'm noticing something about these eggs, though. I think these are from two different hens. Uh, one is pointier than the other, and one is a darker shade of green. So I think we've got two laying Easter Eggers. This one is from today. It's a little bit dirty, but... Yeah, they're small, 
but they're beautiful. I'm inside just taking a little lunch break. Oh, look, there's another piece of wood that I'm considering. That is very straight, and I would love, love to be able to put that and use that for trim. Anyhow, I need to finish up the laundry. Um, I've put it through the first cycle. I've wrung it out, and now I just need to rinse it and hand wring it again, and then, you know, put it up to dry. It's getting a little bit late. It's like 1 p.m., I think. But um, that's okay. It'll be out overnight, and it'll dry eventually. Um, so for the rest of the day, I'm just going to try and stay warm. I am going to gather some more wood. i got to go check the eggs again and play with my beautiful puppies. They're all taking naps right now, thank goodness, finally. So that's all i got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.